Okay, Panasonic autofocus on the GH5 Mark II. Let's just see how we go. Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, in today's video we're going to talk about the king of all micro four thirds lenses. The Panasonic Leica 42.5 f 1.2 prime lens. This thing is an absolute beast, but it takes absolutely brilliant, beautiful photos, right? So let's roll that intro and let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, I've got five reasons why this lens is awesome, but I also have two you know, cons about this lens as well. So make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video. But yeah, five pros and two cons. So, you know, this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, and let's get straight into it with uh, reason number one, why this lens is absolutely fantastic. Okay, reason, num reason number one is the overall build quality and the features of this lens, okay? So the Panasonic Leica collaboration, um, they produce amazing lenses. Not only the optics and the image quality, which we'll touch on later, but the overall build quality of these things are absolutely incredible. Fully uh, metal, um, metal mount, everything like that. Just absolutely fantastic. A lot of these lenses, including the 42.5 f 1.2, has the clicky aperture ring, which, you know, when I first got this lens, I didn't think I would use it that much, but I use it all the time. It's absolutely brilliant. And yeah, just the overall build quality of these lenses are fantastic. And you know, the 42.5 f 1.2 is probably the biggest and the most solid, uh, you know, Panasonic Leica prime lens, other than those zoom lenses that they released a couple of years ago, the 10 to 25, 10 to 20, and the 25 to 50, I think they're the focal lengths, the f 1.7 lenses. You know the ones I'm talking about, they're massive. But yeah, the overall build quality and the features like the um, image stabilization is absolutely brilliant. Most of the time I'm using this lens paired up with my Panasonic G9 camera and it really is just a, if I can do it, it is just really a match made in heaven, okay? So yeah, number one, build quality and the, the, the features of the lens, uh, clicky aperture ring, image stabilization. That's number one. Let's get into reason number two. Okay, the second reason I love this particular lens, okay? Now let me just take it off the G9. Second reason is, is the uh, focal length, okay? The 42.5. So essentially in full frame land, that's an 85 mil equivalent lens. And this is your classic portraiture lens, but you know, it's not just for portraiture. Um, but you know, generally people think of 42.5 or 85 mil as a portrait lens. And this really, really does do the job quite well in that realm of photography, okay? But you know, I use it for everything. I use it for a lot of lifestyle sort of work too, and a lot of sort of product work, not sort of macro-ish close-up products, but you know, more general sort of lifestyle product work, you know, automotive um, shots and, and things like that, you know, even the odd landscape and things like that. But yeah, the 42.5, um, 85 mil equivalent, full frame equivalent, the focal length is absolutely brilliant. And to be honest with you, I really need to implement this more and more into my current workflow. I don't use it enough, but I plan to use it a lot more coming into 2023, right? But that's the second reason. Let's get into the third reason. Okay, the third reason has to be said. I think it actually is the fastest micro four thirds lens you can get. Correct me if I'm wrong. And we're talking about, you know, native lenses here. There might be some cheap manual lenses that are, you know, 0.095 or something like that. But I'm talking about Panasonic Leica, Olympus, that sort of thing. Um, the F1.2 is absolutely brilliant, super fast, great in low light. You know, you know, micro four thirds is, as we know, not the best in low light conditions, but if you slap this lens on your GH5 Mark II or your G9, you're really gonna have no issues at all, okay? And you know, the, the 1.2 allows you to get like great depth of field, great subject separation, blurry backgrounds, it's very creative and all that sort of stuff. So number three, it's that fast aperture and you know, us micro four thirds shooters, it's handy to have a fast, lens in your kit for those low light situations, right? But that was reason number three. Let's get into reason number four. Okay, the fourth reason I love this lens is the image quality. It blows me away every single time. Um, the Panasonic Leica collaboration with, you know, Panasonic and the, the Lumix cameras, I don't know, 
just produce amazing results time and time again. And you know, that's not just this particular lens here. I've also got the 12 mil F uh, 1.4 that I'm filming on right now. The Panasonic Leica 12 to 60. That is amazing optics and produces great images as well. So just the image quality that comes out of this lens is absolutely fantastic. It really, really can't be beat when it comes to micro four thirds. Um, you know, there's, they do have the Lumix 42 f 1.7 i personally never really used that lens i think i've used it once and yeah it was fantastic but you know just going by memory you know i did prefer you know the colors and the look that this image gave me right and that's why i said before you know it's sort of like a luxury lens for me and i feel scared to actually use it at times especially on professional jobs i don't know why i just don't seem to use it but i really need to break it out more okay but yeah anyway the image quality absolutely fantastic let's get to the fifth and final reason why i love this lens and then we've got the two cons of this lens as well the fifth reason i love this lens and it's a little bit different it's got nothing to do with build quality or you know the uh, image results or the features like it's the confidence in my creativity and the confidence in my photography that this lens brings okay um the fast f1.2 you know it's a very very creative lens you can really get some very unique looks with this lens it really uh, makes you have a lot of pride in your work and you know you're very proud to deliver the images of this lens you know to your clients and really share them out with the world okay when i picked up this lens it really upped my game uh, as a photographer and also with video as well this is a great video lens um, it really upped my confidence and my creativity using the micro four thirds system okay it almost takes me back to using my old nikon d700 camera when i used to use that with a prime uh, 1.4 lens back in the day uh, this lens really takes me back to then and it really gave me a lot of confidence using micro four thirds and you know giving the image results that this gives okay so that's the fifth reason Beware, I've got two cons of this lens, of this particular lens, so let's get straight into it now. Okay, the first con of this lens, it's the price, man. This thing is expensive. This took me a lot of time to save up for this particular lens, a lot of shoots, and a lot of just putting money away, a lot of trading gear and everything like that. I got this lens secondhand and it was still $1,200 Australian. Actually, I think it was about $1,300 Australian. Um, and that's where they sit on the secondhand market. You're not really picking these up for under $1,000. Um, I've actually never seen them for under $1,000. Secondhand, that is. Brand new, these things, you know, are still $1,800. I've even seen them over $2,000. But, you know, giving the pros that I've listed so far, and there is a ton more on this particular lens, um, you know, the price of it, you know, it's a, it's a big investment. It is a kind of, you know, if you're gonna be a micro four third shooter and that's the mount you're gonna be, um, it is a definite investment. That's con number one. Let's get into con number two. Okay, the second reason, the second con of this particular lens, and maybe sometimes why I don't take it out as much as I would like, it's the bulk of the lens. Now, I guess that comes with the great build quality of it. You know, you definitely know you're holding a lens when you've got it, and you definitely know when it's actually mounted on your camera, that's for sure. Although it still is pretty well balanced, but it is very bulky and very heavy, and that sometimes doesn't make me want to take it out all the time. Bear with me for about uh, 10 seconds. Okay, thanks for that. So this is the 42.5 f1.2 mounted on my Panasonic GX9 camera. And as you can see, you know, it's fairly bulky and it's fairly heavy. On this particular camera, I would love to use it more and more and more, especially for out there on the streets and things like that. However, it just gets a little bit heavy and it's a little bit bulky. And as I said, the expense of it as well, you know, sometimes, oh, 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 I'm a bit reluctant to take it out. And I know that's not an excuse, that's just purely a mental thing. That's con number two, you know, it's just the overall bulk of it um, in conjunction with, you know, the overall price, you know, and how expensive this thing is. So there you have it, you know, more pros than cons, and the cons really are just, you know, it is what it is, and it's an expensive lens, and it's very, very bulky, but, you know, the pros very much outweigh the cons of this particular lens. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, do you have this lens? Have you used it in the past? 
do you use the 42.5 f 1.7 instead of this lens i know if i had that lens in my collection i would probably use it more uh in conjunction with my gx9 that's for sure but yeah let me know i'd like to know your thoughts um if you like this sort of thing please consider subscribing to the channel it helps me out a lot big thumbs up for the video and i will see you all next time bye